Introducing Above Cancer Diagnostics. So I've been a clinical biological dentist for umpteen years and really my passion is to expand my purview to help a broader array of people. And what better place to start than with cancer, particularly with more advanced cancer diagnostics. So we have formed an organization that falls under our Health Revival Partners platform called Above Cancer Diagnostics. And our tagline is, this is the earliest cancer detection with life-saving solutions. And I think it's important to point out that we are not looking for tumors, we're looking for the antecedents, the things that cause the tumor, all of which are very modifiable. So that's our focus. And this testing is available today if you want to go to www.healthrevivalpartners.com and click on the cancer menu item. So let's give you some above cancer quick facts. Cancer triggers a measurable immune response. And that's expressed in the Nobel Prize in Medicine 2018, where they talk about um, immuno substances, biologics, if you will. We don't agree with that approach, but that's sort of the proof. Number two, biomarkers provide early warning and prognosis status. So in other words, if your biomarkers are going up, you're at risk for cancer, the right biomarkers. If your biomarkers are up and a tumor is detected, your prognosis is poor. So either way, improving your biomarkers, all of which are modifiable, is extraordinarily important in cancer. Neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio is a key example. I won't go into what this marker is, but I will tell you that Dana-Farber at Harvard has a number of videos from researchers saying that if your neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio is high, your survival is low. And if you can modify that neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio down by 25%, you significantly improve survival and reduce recurrence. So that's a very important thing. And of course, we do this neutrophil to lymphocyte test, and it's a modifiable risk factor without chemo, radiation, and other cancer treatments. So the standard of care, the reason why there's a lot of thought about cancer escaping the immune system is that in the standard of care, normal values don't reveal chronic or smoldering disease, which really is what cancer is. In that system, you're either healthy or sick. Nothing in between, really. Our whole concept, which we call the standard of health, it's a new scientific-based values for lab markers tied to early mortality risk. And in this approach, you get placed on a health disease continuum, or in this case, the cancer continuum. We give you a 0 to 10 rating of where you lie on the cancer continuum. And a little bit more about the above cancer program. Our Harvard and MIT team has developed the cancer algorithm. All the lab tests, all 38 of them are available at, at LabCorp and Quest. And we've just determined new cancer normal and abnormal biomarker value levels from our own research. We give you a single risk and prognosis score based on all 38 markers being aggregated. And it's highly researched data that we've uh, looked at through the National Library of Medicine, PubMed. All markers are modifiable. So it puts the power and control to affect your outcome on you and your provider team. This approach treats you, not the tumor. If we determine you need to have an analysis for a tumor, I would suggest you do so and do what you can with other techniques to shrink the tumor. But we are dealing with what causes the tumor and then what causes the tumor to proliferate rapidly and put you in a poor survival situation. It increases your odds for avoiding cancer, it improves your outcomes, if you have cancer, your prognosis. So what, this is an actual late stage cancer patient. So we, we asked the questions, where are you on the cancer continuum? And this person was at 73%, you know, 7.3 out of 10. Very high uh, score based on the 38 biomarkers and obviously pre-diagnosed with cancer. So what are your major risk factors for cancer? We've completely recategorized cancer into six different continuums, immune health, Infection, chronic infectious burden, viruses, bacteria, etc. Damage, markers that show that tissue is being shooed up and, and uh, destroyed within your body. Inflammation, oxidative stress, and your metabolic health status. And under that are multiple biomarkers in each category that help us create this robust rating. So here's a list of the 38 markers. And then, you know, we've highlighted and read some of the really important ones, fibrinogen, which is clotting, but it's also tissue damage, lymphocyte counts, the neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio, chlamydia pneumoniae, very ubiquitous pathogen, causes lung cancer, 
but it causes a host of other diseases. Creatine kinase, a tissue destruction marker, vitamin D, we all know about that in cancer, there's no question, and your viral burden. All these things are very important. We talked about some of these markers as part of this talk. But so here's an example biomarker presentation in the above cancer report. And the above cancer report goes on for about 42 pages explaining where you are on the cancer continuum and then the details underlying that. And we also provide a host of research to help you really understand how these markers titrate to your cancer risk and prognosis. So here's just the oxidative stress um, labs in this report where we have ferritin, transferrin, haptoglobin, and myeloperoxidase. And you can see your actual value from your labs. And then here's your optimal levels in the green. And then we show you where exactly you are on that continuum. So we create a very good set of information to titrate and track your improvement as you go through a program that we offer through Health Revival Partners to improve your health. Now, we're advancing cancer solutions across the spectrum of the disease, not just when the tumor is detected, but even before that. So this is a, a company called Thrive, bought, purchased by Exact Sciences, and they're all tumor markers. If any of these are up, you have a tumor, okay? And your solution is oncology. Whereas when we detect something, no matter where you are, we offer an alternative solution or a complementary solution that involves improving those biomarkers, improving your risk, and improving your prognosis. So it's really the next cancer frontier, earliest risk detection and prevention. So find out where you are on the cancer risk and prognosis continuum. Start lowering your risks now. Be proactive. And you do that at healthrevivalpartners.com. Click on our Above Cancer tab. Slave.